So I'm going to start with a quote. My curves are not crazy. I want you to think, what do you think he meant by this? We don't have to make the perfect circle. We don't have to make the perfect square. Are you selling? We need to remember some of Matisse's quotes. So I'd like us to say it all together and mean it. Ready? One, two, three. Creativity takes courage. Do you believe it? Yes. My name is Julie Tomashiro, and I'm a third grade teacher at Toledo Elementary School in Redondo Beach. What I love about Matisse is that when he got sick with appendicitis, he didn't know he was an artist. He didn't know that he wanted to be an artist, and when he was born in bed, his mom gave him a box of paints, and he had that aha moment of, I think I want to be an artist. I think that a lot of students, I'm hoping that they'll have that aha moment, that ah, I love art, and that's what I want my kids to take from my class, that they enjoy it, they can create, they can use their inspiration. Um, they learn so many things through art. I always tell them, take a risk, live out loud. Do what you want to do and how you're feeling because art is about getting your emotions out and maybe sometimes you cannot get your emotions out by writing or by telling someone so you can get it out through your art. Okay, your favorite. <laughs> The definition of success for me as a teacher is when I see my students have that drive and that inner creativity come out and when they start to think on their own. They start to go outside of the box and they start to approach all subjects in different ways. What, what do you think the difference between this picture and this per picture? This is Icarus, so what's the difference of the pictures? Ooh. Peter, what do you think? Um, I think that after he died, that's his by lifting, that's his ghost, but that black thing in the middle is the tower. Ah, I did not see that. That's very insightful, Peter. He thinks that this black piece behind Icarus could be the tower that he was being locked up in. Very good. A real commitment has been made to what we call whole child education, meaning that every child deserves to learn and grow, not just academically, but physically, emotionally, and socially through their kindergarten through 12th grade experience. Well, I, I mean, I thought it was really important. I think in general arts are incredibly important just because it was something that neither my wife or I are particularly artistic, and she showed a lot of aptitude early on, and so it was, it was it was something we just want to encourage, you know, because it's it brings out a lot in her and it brings out her personality and you get to see it when she puts it in, when she talks about it, when she shows it to you, she kind of lights up and is really excited. And so it's, it's a really cool thing to see um, from somebody eight years old. Kids can express themselves in any way they want without feeling, you know, criticized or, or put down or anything like that. That teaches you guys. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've got inspired by it. Um, me and my dad playing football in the pub because he <laughs> didn't believe that I can run that fast right. and actually catch up to him. And so it was special, me, special to me because um, I didn't know he could laugh that hard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that the yellow one represents a football. The purple one represents a field of grass. And just so you know, Andre Matisse, he didn't, he, um, when he drew stuff or painted stuff, like say he drew the sky, he didn't make it blue, he made it like purple sometimes. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm doing that. I just chose that pattern because I thought it would, um, it would look cool. It does look cool. It's my dad fishing because he always wants to go fishing, but he never can. This part's my dad and this part's like clouds and stuff. And this part, that's a lake. This is like grains of sand and that's a rock. And then there's this other picture, which I thought was, which is great because it's actually, this, these are two women in the garden. It's called Tea in the Garden. And it was really interesting because Henri Matisse, he didn't, he loved to draw people, but he said that he had a really hard time drawing people. And it wasn't one of his favorite things to do. So I like to show this 
this picture to students to let them know that sometimes it's okay if you don't know how to do something, that this is an opportunity for you to try, and that's what Henri Matisse did, and so I love this picture. The challenge that our schools face is how to ensure that we provide a high quality education for all of our students with those limited funds. And that's why it's been really exciting to be a part of the Educational Foundation, because we have the opportunity to raise additional funds. When we were selected by LA25 to benefit from this program, we thought, what could be, what ideas did we have for how we could use funds for the arts? And we thought how great it would be to expose students to art museums. And so we worked with them on the plan of sending all of our second and third grade students to the LA County Museum of Art. My name is Eric Formiller and I'm the co-founder of LA25 and we started this organization about two years ago uh, as a way to kind of give back to our local communities through a charitable cause here in the South Bay. And without further ado, we're going to bring up our co-founders of the LA25, John Capillaro and Eric Formiller. Let's give them a big round of applause, guys. We deeply believe in the arts as something that inspires critical thinking, that allows people to become better skilled in mathematics and lots of other related things. And so we are profound advocate of the arts, as you all are. So thank you very much. The pictures of Ali were shot back in uh, 1970 and 71 uh, down in Miami, at the, mostly at the Fifth Street Gym. It was, it was great to be able to, to, to give the photo for the auction, and um, I hope it does well. We have a special guest this evening to help us auction off this piece, Muhammad Ali's first daughter, Miriam. My name is Miriam Ali, and I'm just happy to be here. I've, I've actually worked with youth for a long time, so I know the importance of these programs, and getting kids out and exposing them to more about life, art, and culture. So my father, he's a lover of children. Spend some money, folks. Let's go. Let's give these kids a nice trip. 1,500, raise those paddles. Come on, people. 1,500, 1,600, and back. Thank you so much. 1,600, 1,700 over here. 23, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. Are you OK with 25? 25, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Big round of applause. Our mission is trying to help bridge the gap, and LA25 came to us and has given us such a great opportunity for us to do so much more for the children in the Redondo Beach School District. And this evening, one of the signature pieces that will be auctioned off is a piece called Heads of the Class. And the students were inspired by the work of Pablo Picasso, and they created portraits inspired by his blue period. Ms. Julie Tomashiro took them through a phenomenal learning and arts experience process to produce that piece. When LA25 and the school district and RBEF told me that they were going to send every second and third grader to LACMA, I was ecstatic because I think that every child needs to experience an art museum. Congratulations. We exceeded our target that night by more than $5,000 um, and raised over $22,000 to support the arts here in Redondo Beach schools. We're very thrilled and excited to be taking all of our second and third graders to the LA County Museum of Art. My hope is that it will be an inspiring experience for our students, something that will leave a lasting impression to keep them motivated, if not as artists, as creative individuals, as students eager to learn and see new things that they haven't seen before. I think that many students have not gotten that experience and they're going to love it and to have that background knowledge of the art history that I teach in my classroom I think it's going to be so amazing for them to see those actual pieces hanging up in a museum. I 
love to know. We made this on our Maybe. board. Yeah, it's on our, it's on our class. We made this cut out. Oh, that's a crazy thing. Yeah. Wow. He uses big bright colors. Oh, that's a good, that's a good way of describing. It's an expression. Exactly. Just to see their eyes, as soon as we entered the museum, it was like, and they were so excited to see a piece that they could recognize, and to see it in real life, it was amazing. So to see them have that moment, and to be so surprised at how amazing the actual artwork was, it, it just, it, it moved me today. So I'm, I'm just so grateful that my students got this opportunity, and um, they were amazing in that they recognized so many different pieces, and they were telling the docent all this information, and she was like, wow, I can't believe you know so much. You're eight years old. Hi, my name is Jody Heller, and I am a docent at LACMA, and I just toured the most amazing children, third grade children from Toledo School. What I observed today was like such excitement and such joy when they saw the actual work and the fact that they were familiar with it and they knew so many so much of the details and the background and all they wanted to do is discuss it and they felt I think they felt so um, empowered by their knowledge you know and I think that um, to actually see, you know when you look at a, at a reproduction and you can tell that it's beautiful but to actually be able to see it is really quite emotional I think they all had an emotional experience Experience, to be honest with you. They want you all together. We were just a, a group of, you know, uh, small town business folks here in South Bay of LA, just, you know, wanting to do something good, give back, all those sort of trite things. And yet to see these real human beings, these little human beings being touched by all this. It's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> For them to get out and to see the real thing, they were blown away. And that moment was just amazing. Today was confirmation for me that they're listening and that it's important for them. I am just gonna continue what I've been doing because I just think that it really matters and art matters in the school and you need to have it daily. You need to teach other curricular areas through art because it matters, so. They're going from here and it's like keep Okay, so you wanna make- All right, artists. Today is the day we are going to do our final project and you get to select an artist that has inspired you and you're gonna do a piece that's representative of you. May said, the field trip to LACMA inspired me to be abstract because I wanted things to go perfect, but now I could be free. May, what do you mean by that? I used to like erase all of my lines and draw, but now um, I don't, want to like erase because I could be free to write and draw. She never wanted to make mistakes. She was a perfectionist, but through art, she's learned that she doesn't need to be perfect because it's perfect in itself. And now she no longer uses an eraser. She just paints. Today, the students created their final masterpiece from the school year and it, it just was above and beyond everything I expected them to do. They had that freedom and that autonomy to choose the materials they wanted to use, the artists that inspired them, the work that they wanted to create. And that autonomy led to more than I could have asked for. I mean, it was their work, I mean, was really representative of who they are as students and artists. And I feel that all the techniques they've learned throughout the school year from all the different artists showed today. When I went to LACMA, I saw a lot of great Jackson Pollock pictures. Yeah, he's really inspired me because, like, he's the one artist who has has done something different from all the other artists. So I think it's pretty cool. Is that like a window? Yes. That's beautiful. LACMA was a great experience for Miles. 
he told me that he felt like he could have been a docent there and walked around and told everyone about the pieces, right? Yeah. Well, earlier, like, um, I used to think, when I make myself, I used to say, it's horrible, and then I'll crumble it up and throw it away and rip it into shreds sometimes. <laughs> and, and now? And now I don't, like, get that. If I do it, I turn it into something else, like this rock. This used to be a cloud, but it looked bad, so I changed it into a rock with a castle on it. I fixed it. So are you proud what? that you know how to change stuff into different things? Yes. Oh, wait, can you tell me if you can see that? Okay. This one's my favorite, and it's on my birthday. Perfect. Um, Mayflower. George O'Keefe's. This is, we don't really know what it's called, but um, because they don't know what it is. She's really grown in the different types and the different ways that she draws and paints now. Before it was just kind of, you know, and, you know, sunglasses on the sun, you know, that type of thing. And now I think she's really um, thinking about it more when she draws. Which one's your favorite one? This one is. Why? Because I use bright colors and dark colors. I like that one too. When you do other things through art, the student learns without even, they don't even know. And it's like this, they're building that foundational depth that you want them to have when they grow up. It's such an education in so many ways, because I think it, it, it can make you think about music, about literature. It teaches about different people, that everybody can be different. Art is that thing that requires yeah. risk. It requires to put something of ourselves out there for other people to measure and scrutinize and engage with. It's the thing that makes us human, for God's sake. And here we are just you know, making a relatively small contribution as best we can and seeing potentially dozens, if not more, children affected in a way that may influence them the rest of their lives. Thick and thin. Yeah, right there. His finger. Thick and thin. So room 19, I just wanted to thank you for an amazing school year. And I'm very proud of you for just expressing yourself and letting me share in that journey with you. I don't know what's my favorite. You being able to show how you're feeling through your art is a gift, and I hope you continue to use it on a daily basis. I hope that you always continue your art. Keep with that craft, because you have a voice, and you need to use it, and remember to be fearless and just do it.